actually want to talk about that in depth. <laughs> we have lots of that. And um, I think someone like Hitler, for example, in a way, it doesn't serve anything to bung Hitler into the pit for all eternity. The people who suffered under Hitler already suffered. And it won't undo their suffering for Hitler to be punished or condemned. And I would find it acceptable <coughs> if weird, if I die and go to heaven, and I find that actually Hitler has been stuck in the room and educated and taught and shown what he did wrong, rather than condemned and written off. Because we're all we're all little bits of God. God's God's raw material for creating the universe was God. He didn't have a large hadron collider like you know the, the thing that's next. I live right near where they're doing all that experiments. They think they can prove God doesn't exist with a piece of equipment. And I, I, whenever I get into this conversation, I say, okay, well, look, you think you can define a God particle, but, you know, God didn't have a particle, so that God used his own energy, uh, his essence, his spirit, his power, to create everything, including physics and mathematics. And um, hmm. so, you know, effectively, I'm, I get a bit pissed off, frankly, pardon my language, with the Eastern mystics saying, I am God. And God is me. That's nonsense. But I do believe that I was created out of a particle of God. And that I think that if God condemned people, it would be like cutting his finger off. Because we're all made of God. And God lives in each of us. We're just kind of a bit in the dark here. We're like seeds in the soil and we're trying to work up towards the light. I believe that maybe when we die, that's when we start to blossom. But um, anyway, I'm going on, aren't I? Sorry, I didn't mean to turn to a preacher tonight. But... <laughs> <laughs> just... Well, mm, not to be rude, but I disagree with almost everything you just said. That, that's cool. I don't mind at all. I, I don't consider it rude. And I, as a born-again Christian, I'd be quite shocked if you didn't disagree with me, because almost all born-again Christians do. Because um, uh, the Bible clearly says, you know, he, 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 to, for you to um, get to the Father, you must come from the Son. You know, yeah, and Jesus is God's son, and he's also part of God, three in one, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And, and also, with with Hitler and all them, yeah. if they repented and gave their lives to Jesus before they died, but regardless of what they've done throughout their whole lives, maybe making other people suffer, etc., etc., God could still take them to heaven. But if they didn't repent, then hell is their home. And the Bible says it clearly. And whether you believe the Bible or not, you know, in the last days, we'll all see. And I know... My, I know my truth, and the Bible is true, completely true. And if you believe in God, and if you truly believe in God, as you said, and you understand that God does not lie, and He spoke through the Bible, and He sent His Holy His Son. You see, my my argument with that would just be that God, um, the people who wrote the Bible, said that God spoke through the Bible. They could have been lying. And I'm not saying they were. What I'm saying they could have been. The only way to know God truly is not through a book. It's through direct contact with God and through talking to God directly. And I was sufficiently concerned about that uh, thing that, um, you know, because I'm, I'm trying to condense 35 years of taking all this stuff very, very seriously into a two-minute conversation. But I was sufficiently concerned that when I first came across Christianity and uh, had this conversation, which I've had many, many times with many, many Christians, um, I sat down and I spent a long time, I'm, I'm not talking about hours, I'm talking about days, um, talking to, communicating with, asking Jesus what the reality was. And Jesus always came back. And there's a Jesus spirit, for want of a better word, there's a Jesus thing, I don't know, um, that, that is recognizable. You can feel when Jesus talks to you. And um, what you, were you going to walk all this way? Or no, we're going to take a bus. Oh, right, okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, no, and, and the thing is that Jesus has always said, have I missed it? Yeah. It's back there, is it? I'll go around the garage. Um, Jesus has always said, listen, you know, talk to God. I'm, you know, I'm just pointing it out. I've always, and, and I've always been able to feel the difference between Jesus and God, and it's, it's, well, it's weird, you know, because 
I've, I know a handful of people who feel the same way, but I'm I'm in no doubt whatsoever that I'm all right with Jesus, and I have no doubt whatsoever I'm all right with God, and that is just you know that's there, that's very real for me. Um, how far along is it, by the way? Uh, kind of near the end. Okay. Um, so, but the thing is, I suppose. If, if you were to say one thing to me, I think you'd probably say, go back, reconsider, read the Bible, and talk to Jesus some more. And, you know, my reply to that would be, go back, talk to Jesus some more, and see, <laughs> and see what Jesus says to you directly. Um, because there is... I don't know how, how this works exactly, but I do know that Jesus is everywhere, at least on this planet. I don't know about the rest of the universe. It's a very, very big universe. But Jesus is everywhere. And Jesus will and has answered every question I've had. And it's always come back to the same thing, which is that this is how it is, that there is grace for everybody. And when you think about an omnipotent God who loves, it's like my kids, you know, my kids could do, I hope they wouldn't, but my kids could do possibly terrible things. I would always forgive them. And it's like, I don't know where you stand on the gate, but a lot of people say, well, homosexuality is, a sin and so on and so forth. And I was kind of very much like that. Um, and then where I live, our next door neighbors are gay. And I had no choice but to treat them like human beings, obviously. And what I suddenly realized is that they're, they're actually very sweet people. I do think they're misguided, to be honest. But it's not like, it's not like they're turning children into, into soldiers like they do in some parts of the world. It's not like they're driving workers to suicide. Like who are you talking about homosexuals? Pardon? Are who you talking about now? Yeah, homosexuals. homosexuals. Yeah. It's, it's it's a bit you know it's I think it's a bit unkosher, but mm. I you know they're not evil people, and I just think God would be forgiving to these people. Um, is it here or do I go a bit further? I know it's it's, just, it's along this road. Here, it's what, this way. No, this road here. Oh, well, I was trying to say oh, it's stop. Back. It's back that way. No, it's fine. It's fine. But well, yeah. I was trying to say stop because you were talking, so I thought I didn't want to disturb. <laughs> right, okay. well, I'm going to turn around anyway. So should I drop you back down where wherever you want to get out? Okay, thank you. That's okay. Anyway, let's let's be really interesting having this conversation. Yeah, so, it's been an interesting drive. Yeah, I mean, I think I yeah I I have literally I suppose I could say I have faith in God. So what's the book called again? I actually yeah. want to okay, see what you're trying to... Don't, don't let God out of the box. Don't let God out. And your uh, name is? Uh, Raoul Chemansky, so... Um, Raoul uh, Chemansky. Yeah, so... Okay. Uh, tell me where to stop. I'll just keep going until you say stop. Um, I'll see 113. What's that? 123? What is it? 113? Uh, recording as well. Yeah. Outside the door. Oh right. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Right. Thank you very much. You're oh, welcome. Is it, you might actually lock two Outside the door. Got childproof lock. Yeah. All right. Let me get my bag. Outside the door. Okay. Oh, In my house. <laughs> All right. Bye. I don't know. Mm-hmm. You've got the door. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're very Thanks. welcome. Nice to meet you. Likewise. God bless. <laughs> I've got our back. Nice. He's back. Thank you. Thank have you. a nice journey. When are you going back to Geneva? Back tomorrow morning. Oh, have a nice journey. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See ya. Where's the missy? Um, I'm going to see if she doesn't want you in the house yet because um, the house is messy. <laughs>